Hi everybody! I'm making this video to talk about the chakra system. So I'm going to do some channeling with my spirit guides so we can explore the chakra system and blocked chakra system and anything else they want to share. So <laughs> they're saying, okay, why are you wanting to make this video? So I'm supposed to tell you that yesterday I made several videos that I just... I don't feel that they're quite the caliber I want to share just yet, but they're on the subject of the chakra system and then my experience with removing the chakra system. And also to discuss what is a black chakra in the first place? Why would you have one? When you remove the chakra system, how do you maintain what I describe as the infinite rainbow? So when you remove the chakra system, what happens? What does it look like and how would you maintain that? So I made videos to go over these subjects and I just kind of bumbled my way through them because I don't, I just don't know where to start or how to explain my feelings or explain what it means to me. So I'm going to just do this as a channeled video and this video is to talk about the chakras. We'll just see where my spirit guides take me on this. Okay. <laughs> yes. They're telling me that it's it's easier for me to have a conversation about something, a topic that doesn't have a structured alignment. It's better for me to talk when I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> How do I explain what they're trying to say here? Okay, because my brain gets really scrambled when it comes to linear thinking and by the book and it's this way or no way and, and trying to define what things mean to me and when it is an emotion that I'm trying to describe it it can be challenging so I need them to create a storyline or some form of communication that helps me define the feeling with language so <clears throat> okay They are slowing things down. They are energetically slowing things down. They are agreeing that we will focus on the chakra system and those who feel they are, have a blocked chakra system. This video is specifically for that subject matter. They are slowing the work down because they want to emphasize healing within the language as well. They want to emphasize healing within the language. So this video isn't just for a communication or wisdom on the subject matter. It is all to, also to provide healing for those who would like to experience healing of their chakras. Not every human being is ready for that evolutionary leap to experience a whole new system or, or energetic reflection or identity. So when you remove the chakra system, I was quite dumbfounded to discover that it's an extraordinary gift from heaven. And there's a reason why this wisdom is out there in the first place. It's not as hocus pocus, you know, boobled -de goo goo do snoo, <laughs> barf barf. <laughs> it's not as, you know, nutcrackery as it sounds. It's actually... It's actually a gift from heaven because human beings are ready to ascend into a whole new version of an energetic reflection. And it comes through the al allowment, the ability to let go of the old and enter into a reflection of the new. So, okay, they want me to do this. When I hold my hands up, I'm actually touching your energetic atmosphere, okay? I'm not just holding my hands up. I'm actually using energetic hands to help you feel better. And this is also a symbol of giving and then receiving for you. So allow yourself to receive healing and love from this video. We're going to explore chakras, okay? We are going to explore them differently. We are going to explore them by seeing chakras illuminated in colors that we would not have perceived them to be before. They show me the third eye is illuminated in yellow light. 
and it even goes above the third eye and into a space that is above the head. So the light itself isn't just contained in a circular star flower shape, it is moving upward. When this happens, there is quite a release of energetic contamination that comes from just below the rib cage. It looks like a black alligator. I am sharing breeze of love into each one of your chakra portals to illuminate the light within, the love within each energetic reflection to create harmonization and balance for you. There is further energetic release. Letting go of the old so that you can embrace more love in your life. When we let go of stress, now we have more room for peace, they say. When we let go of fear, now we have more room to embrace the unknown and rejoice in it. Do not allow yourself to feel fear in a world full of love. Allow yourself to trust that love is all around you, holding you, embracing you, lifting you up in this world, physically, spiritually. This is energetic love we share with you to open up your infinite light, your infinite rainbow, aligned with what we define as a chakra system. They say you are beautiful each and every day. Fill yourself with love. Allow yourself to inhale love through every portal of your being. It is not defined by a shape or a color. It is defined by love itself. What heals all things? More pain and suffering? Or is it the tenderness and nourishment that love provides? Love understands all. Love heals all. Allow yourself to open up to the healing of love now. Do not be afraid. Love is here to heal you, hold you. I see a man who is struggling with his emotions. In his struggle, he suffers from a very stiff sensation. It's hard to stand. He feels like he has no choice but to fall to the ground and be frozen, stuck. And even his screams are entirely frozen, stuck. His tears are turned to ice. His arms no longer can move. This is his version of a reality. Nobody hears or understands his feelings, his experience. They are speaking about a rigid society that forces people to feel stuck in life. forces them to feel like they have no voice and even if they chose to have a voice it would never be heard over the towers of buildings and people also in the same predicament. It is essential that we melt away that sensation of feeling stuck. Your voice is beautiful. It is a song, and it is worthy and deserving of being shared and heard, of touching other people's lives and transforming your life. Since when is turning into an ice cube the value of living?
Do you see how we touch you with love? I touch you with my hand and I see into your being. I show you that I see you. I look into your eyes. I help you know that you are not alone. You are changing, I say. Change is hard. It feels nice to have a life that is consistent and simple. But that is not what we souls signed up for here. <laughs> You're not alone. We all struggle with this. We all do. And deep in our hearts, we know it's time for a change. I give you a kiss on your third eye. You are still covered in ice, but it is melting slowly. You are exhausted, absolutely exhausted. I feel your complete and utter exhaustion. It is so exhausting that it feels like you just want to sleep and let go of everything. It's much easier to sleep and dream about joy than to live each and every day challenged to feel it. There's an energetic squid or jellyfish I'm removing from the heart portal. You seem to be surrounded by a liquid. There's more work to be done in the mind. I am patient as it's complicated. There's darker energy in the head and it's being used as a tool for comprehending and making decisions in life. And it looks like a computer system in the brain with buttons and switches and electrical zapping motions back and forth. This is what we all rely on to try to make choices to keep going in this world. It's an old system of computing decisions, decisions that are not for the benefit of ourselves or others. Our experience of time in the day-to-day -day routine are the reason we resort to a logical tool of this kind. They say it's energetic, but we call it the mind, the brain. I'm still doing energy work to help it to let go. Part of it is its activation is fueled with the consistency of life. It doesn't know how else to be. The more love I share with it, the more it starts to feel like it doesn't have to be this way.
I'm continuing to focus on this as I work on this I see the ice has melted from you and you are crying real tears now you are exhausted but you are starting to get your energy back you f say please release me from this imprisonment you scream it from the bottom of your soul you scream at me please release me from this imprisonment say it isn't imprisonment it's a journey an experience and it can be joyful we have to choose joy we have to choose love and we have to start start supporting love in ourselves in our friends and family in our communities it can be a reflection of love we just have to say that that is what we want there's nothing wrong with choosing love and love does heal all things and it spreads like wildfire because we all desire it and when we feel our needs are met we have the strength and ability to meet the needs of others I'm telling you it's okay it's okay let go you're not alone you are choosing to let go of this way of thinking they say old way of thinking old system of thinking Letting go of it is pushing out more energy from the mouth. It's like a black box coming out of the throat through the mouth region and just being removed. There's more blocks coming out of the face region. You are pushing blocks out of every portal of color from head to foot but specifically really through the torso and then up to the head pushing out lots of old dark energy in the form of blocks our chakras are blocked they look like blocks that come out of the chakras. More release is taking place. Letting go is taking place. It is hard to let go and some of these blocks are hard to release. You hold on to them and they are there because they create a comfort zone and to remove them takes you out of your comfort zone but to remove them allows you to feel more love in your life and that makes us feel vulnerable love does have a way of making us feel vulnerable can we trust that they really do care that's part of the reason why we shut ourselves in and feel alone they say yes human beings really do care about other human beings you have to know this you have to notice and we care very much so about human beings we love human beings very much and we desire to see their faces smile every day they show me children smiling and feeling the ray of sun and joy in each and every moment of their lives and growing into adults that are so happy and choose to heal each other 
like they choose to heal each other as children. Happy children want to see other children happy too. And they want to see adults happy as well. Happy children grow into happy adults. This isn't just about the adults, it's about the children too. They are continuing to ask you to let go. More energy is released from the third eye. More energy is released from the gut region. More energy is released from the mouth. You are releasing energy through sounds. You are screaming and the echo of these sounds goes on and on forever. We hear this often from all the human beings. So many human beings, their souls are crying and screaming in anguish to feel the love of heaven holding them. They feel the separation of love in the soul because the body is enduring a life where the love is not there. Continue to love. Continue to feel love. They are helping you to stand now. You feel weak on your feet, but you are not covered in ice or water. You are not crying. You are making progress. You still feel tired, but you have more strength even still. There are more release of blocks. This one is in the upper chest region. Mother Earth is using energy around the feet to help you feel solid and grounded. This energy is helping you to feel grounded and centered within your body within your emotions, within your thoughts, within your spiritual identity. spirit realm, God, angels, they are helping you to grow wings so that you can fly. They want you to see how you can fly. Your wings are growing and as they grow you feel more confident, more solid, more feelings of love and as though you can trust in love and love is your power and you are centered in your power with love they're encouraging you to continue to grow your wings that in love you fly when love is not there you solidify you fall to the ground and you turn to ice do you see how important love is it helps you grow wings to fly. The strength and self-empowerment is amazing. You look so strong, so empowered. You are acknowledging that your wings are in motion and you're smiling and laughing to yourself. 
I can't believe how far you've come. You remember back to where you were not long ago, and it seems so ridiculous. Why was I taking things so seriously? Why was I letting this world break me down and turn me into an ice cube? Why was I not smiling and rejoicing in the love of all so I can feel this free to fly, to love, to embrace love and share love, to feel warmth, to hug others, to be hugged, to share so much love from my heart, to feel the love within my heart, to feel so impressively amazing, to love, to inhale love, to exhale love, to feel the love beneath my feet, the love within the air, the love of spirit, the love of all, the love of creation. You remove energy that has been jammed up in your hands and you push it out into Mother Earth and Mother Earth delights in consuming the energy that no longer serves your purpose. You are pushing out more of the old contaminated energy so that she can consume it and turn it into flowers. You are continuing to share more of this energy from your palms into the earth. You are sharing it now from the bottom of your feet. You are pushing out old energy into the earth. From the earth comes a hand that tries to grab you. You smile. This hand has bad intentions. But you choose to hold this hand and pull this human being out of the earth and then hold them and say, it's okay, I know, I was there too. There are different versions of suffering we all endure. I am part of love now and my love can heal you. You hold this human being and you kiss their forehead as I have done for you and you continue to fill their heart with love so they can remember what love feels like be transformed by love grow in love and now be able to do the same for another human being bring us all out of the dark let us feel the light love is what creates illumination and healing only love creates this. Let us pull each other out of these deep parts of the earth, frozen, stiff, different versions of stress, misery, and challenge, and sorrow. Let us hold each other. Let us help each other. Let us free each other from the pain and suffering of a world disconnected from pure, unconditional, heavenly love. You are activated, they say. You are full of rainbow, powerful, loving, vibrant color. You are free to love and feel love in all its vibrancy. You are beautiful. You are a gift. Your soul is unique. Your human identity is unique. We love you. I experience what is a kiss upon your forehead from so much energy of love spiritual love, angelic love, God's love Mother Earth myself <laughs> creation 
creation. You're helping me to move back now. <sighs> helping me to disconnect. Mm -hmm. To that <clears throat> is how I experience the chakra system and the healing of the chakra system. I go into the vulnerabilities of our emotions, of our mind, of our spiritual experience being had in a physical reality. And I pull out the patterns that create our suffering and transform them with love and that love now fills us with higher clarity love is the only way to open up who and what you are infinitely open up who and what you are love does that so how do you create balance? you allow love in and you share love as well. It's how you create balance. And that's how you create inner power and the freedom to fly. All right, so I'm going to share for this video. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in working with me one on one, I share spiritual healing and psychic wisdom at my website at Abby Normal's Wisdom Quest. Dot com. Thank you for watching.